Got another sock-headed snake. Anyway, there is a sock-headed snake. This is the only stop. All right, I couldn't catch it for you on camera, but this is the uh, white-headed or sock-head snake, the e Enulius or Enulius uh, sclateri. It's one of the glass tail complex. You can see it's got that nice head. I couldn't, I couldn't really see. I just saw the tail uh, in these leaves until I grabbed it, and then I knew exactly what it was. But they are non-venomous. Not a super common snake here, but we find a few of them every now and then. This is the first one I found in this type of habitat. Usually find them in a couple of other locations. Anyway, they're cruel snakes. It's an interesting night because this is the third snake and they've all been ground snakes. You can see they're not very chill. When you catch them, that's why you have to grab them when you can. They will take off on you in a second. Come on, Enulius. All right. Now you can go, snake. Of course, you don't want to go. Come on. There we go. Enulius splatteri, sock-headed snake or white-headed snake. One of the glass tails. You can see his tail is completely intact. And our first shout out goes to the Brutus Brutus Snake Channel on YouTube. He correctly counted the number of times I said Blunthead Tree Snake in the Blunthead Tree Snake video. It was 23 times. Anyway, there is a sock headed snake. I'll try to keep him away from the ants. You can see they have a limited range in Central America, but do extend down into Colombia. The sockhead snake can have a head that's completely white. Safely back under his log, I hope. Got another sock headed snake. Enulia sclateri. This is a much smaller one. Very cool. Very cool. That's like three for this trip. That's a record. And a quick shout out to subscriber Jim Fleming for his recent comment. Thank you, Jim. If you would like to get a shout out, leave a comment on this video and we'll choose one at random.